If you go see them in Detroit and come back and see them in Dallas, they're going to be saying the same thing. Long before I started doing stand-up comedy, uh, long before I came to the internet, people forget, homie, I was a motivational speaker. Motivational speaker. A paid public speaker speaking at some of the most prestigious college universities in the country doing trainings for the United States Department of Homeland Commission at East Field Police Training Academy. I was on the front page, nigga, of the American Bar Association Journal. How you go not, you can put, I can talk. I can talk. I can conversate. I have the gift of gab. I have charisma. Nigga, you can't put me on stage and think I'm not going to entertain. Not only can I entertain, nigga, you can't stop watching me. No matter what I'm saying. Think about this, homie. I said, fuck Jews. Fuck Jew babies. And Aiden Ross went on motherfucking DJ Academics and said, I still want to fuck with him. People recognize the influence that I have. It's not that I'm big and strong with muscles. Nigga, my voice is powerful because when I speak, everybody listens. The rappers listen. The Muslims listen. The GDs and BDs listen. The police listen. The people on. Everybody listens when I talk, my nigga. I get millions and thousands of views, my nigga. And I'm sitting here talking on the Android sometimes. The phone be, I be in the dark talking. I cut the camera off. They steals because nigga told me, homie, once a nigga watch you one time, homie, it becomes a walking addiction. They said, nigga, to watch a Charleston White video, nigga, you are a walking addiction. You make a motherfucker addicted, nigga, to want to keep hearing what you got to say. Nigga, just waiting to hear what's coming out of your mouth. Man, let's see what Charleston gonna say about this. They say motherfuckers wake up daytime. They say motherfuckers wake up, want to know to see when what Charleston going to say about this when something happens. And I'm saying, God damn. God damn. Damn, nigga, for real? It's called the gift of gab. So, so think about this, my nigga. I started talking right here in this car. Call on an Android phone, a boxing match that's going to pay me over six figures. Not only will it pay me over six figures, nigga, I get damn near 10% on the pay-per-view back end money. From talking in my motherfucking car. Now the celebrities talking about me. All the rappers want to fight me. Nigga, four years ago, didn't nobody even know my name. Now I'm one of the biggest motherfucking names in the hip-hop industry, if not in the world. Did y'all hear Aiden Ross? Aiden Ross went on DJ Academics and said, man, just as many people was taking pictures with Charleston White as they was with me walking in the mall. Just as many people were taking pictures stopping Charleston. That's what Aiden said. Homie, who would ever thought that a nigga would go be this big just talking shit in the car? With all the hate against a nigga. Nigga made it, homie, touching millions, my nigga. T touching millions from talking shit in the car. Selling out comedy shows. It ain't even been a whole year, my nigga. I did my first comedy show October 2022. BET Weekend Awards in Atlanta, Georgia. And sold out, my nigga. And sold out, my nigga. Who doing that the first time it ever such Who doing that, my nigga? Nobody. This is, um, nigga, I done defied the odd. And this without nobody from the industry helping me, nigga. I don't get no help from the industry. None from the industry, nigga. But I'm a bad motherfucker. And the hate is real.
celebrate 25 years at Victory Fest. Sign up for 50% off today with endless options and... Hold on, boys and girl. I want to play something for you. Hold on, boys and girl. Where the motherfucking thing is? Hold up, boys and girl. I want to play something for you. Where my other motherfucking phone is? Yeah, I want y'all to hear something. Cause it ain't too many niggas doing this shit, homie. Yeah, it ain't too many niggas doing this shit, homie. Yeah, yeah, it ain't too many niggas doing this shit. This goddamn chicken right here. Now I'm going out tonight and I got on these sweatpants and I don't plan on doing nothing. I just want to style and profile like the people that got the muscles, you hear me? I just want that print to show. You ever have a bad day, fellas? You ever, you ever have a motherfucker bad day, boy, at work? Or anything, nigga, show up at work after you done took that big pill because you know it still be heavy. You know it still be heavy after you go to work. That motherfucker still look like that hot thing in that motherfucking pot. It's gone and it's about to fuck. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Especially if that old motherfucker. Y'all know what I'm talking about. How they eat motherfuckers. So listen, um, I eat niggas, so I tell old school, so what to do? He said, You bust it open. I fucked out three packs so I realized how you take it. You know how I'm hitting it with the knife? So you hit it in the middle. Now, normally can't nobody get this but your dad and your granddad. If young nigga get this from the doctor, he got problems for real. I buy this off the street market. So I pop that motherfucker open, you hit it in the middle. Now I don't plan no cheating, I just want to style and profile because I ain't no big nigga. I ain't got no muscle. Oh, uh, I ain't got no big nigga, but I got a print. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's how you beat these niggas. Yeah, yeah, you walk through the mall, you ain't planning on buying nothing. You just style and profile and them motherfucking great sweatpants and watch everybody motherfucking eye contact. And yeah, 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 talk and talk with that print. Get you a few numbers and it strokes your ego. Yeah, yeah, that's if you ain't got no job. Yeah, nigga with a job can't do that. He, he already behind on child support that dick and I already got him in trouble. Especially if they hell of that nigga. The average nigga in here right now, I tell you, who all behind on child support? Say, this is my first comedy show, my nigga. Yeah, yeah, this is my first comedy show, nigga. Atlanta BET Weekend. Nigga, I sound like a, I sound like a pro. This is my first one, nigga. Real, they'll raise their hand. When I'm going to Congress, uh, and I'm voting for an order to stop all you niggas from getting in the club. Nigga, my high old child boy don't need to be in the motherfucking club. When you run this goddamn ID, and he's showing up in that motherfucking club, he got to tell the extra fee, because he's my high old child boy to get in this motherfucker. For all of us niggas who caught up. <laughs>
Yeah, so that's my biggest fear, man. And one thing you can give me and kick in my ass, uh, and, and, and there ain't nothing I can do. Now, the biggest lie I saw the boy told y'all is I got the basic. This my first comedy show. This the first one ever. I ain't never touched the stage a day before in my life, my nigga. And I'm on this bitch. Nigga, I'm on that. No, 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 no. Uh oh. Yeah, I ain't been home since. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was with my side bitch, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got me busted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have no idea. I done took my side bitch to my end. So when my wife met me, she come from an EB family, so she bought me a S550 bin, so I would like, uh, I would look, look like Woodrow on Shaft and the Sun to a pin. Yeah, yeah, no, no, she bought me S550 bin, uh, she went to the bank, gave me $20,000, uh, yeah, yeah, came out, and, and I showed her uh, what a man can do with a woman's money. With a woman's money, uh, if you look like me and your money. Now, the first good investment I formed, because I was fucking with them California niggas. I was trying to uh, have them California niggas come down and, and, and do public speaking and they even like the rappers. Uh, you know, talking to the youth and shit. Uh, so at first, I had King Babalooney come down who started the Pyro. Uh, I think we sent him back with like five, six thousand dollars. So the California niggas started to play on it. So I formed the law with that money. Right? Uh, so it took me about six months to catch on to this internet shit, man. Uh, so I get down with the internet shit. I ain't gonna even make money off this shit. Uh, I was a frustrated, uh, broke, <laughs> committed actor. <laughs> I, I didn't know how to ask for no donation. Uh, I didn't know how to ask for no money. Uh, but every time I go speak and come back from speaking, uh, my kids want some ice cream. They wanted a burger. And Dad would say, well, shit, Dad ain't got it. And uh, one thing I know about Dad, well, if he said he ain't got it too many times, he ain't shit to the kids. Don't give him my kids, man. Now, once the kids don't go on to you and say, Dad, can I get this? You holler about out of the page at all, man. You ain't shit to the motherfucker, man. <laughs> now, now, man, listen. When my dad died, my mama called me and said, boy, they said, Charles ain't got it. Okay, mom. It'll about 12 at night. She called back that morning. And she said, shoot, boy, you might want to get down there. I think Charles Ray left some money in the bank. Boy, I showed up in the floor and had my dad. Yeah, yeah, he left me $13,000. I don't give a fuck what he didn't do. Why I'm alive, man. That nigga left me with a time. I'm a broke. You hear me? Yeah, yeah, my bitch was on the run on the, from the police on the probation violation. Yeah, yeah, let me see. I had just started college. No, no, that money daddy left me, nigga, help me get me through some shit where I can set myself straight. So now he made it right in the end. So I started understanding. Now, man, if you die, you can be an honest motherfucking man. Don't fucking give a damn about you. Yeah, yeah, nigga, go home and go to work every goddamn day. You've been paying child support over there and half your money. Don't cover the bills over here. You can't run nothing over here. Even the kids are going to mistreat you to play the game in the little room. <laughs> no, 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 nigga, everybody mistreating nigga that can't pay where he laid and trying to stay. So now, man, I tried to figure out uh, uh, how to get me some money. Or uh, even your mama talk to me a little brother. Or uh, even your sister. Uh, this is what I realized. Uh, don't nobody want to hear nothing broke motherfucker I say. 
Jill, yeah, now, now, uh, you broke and you trying to tell me about your God. Man, fuck your God. Think I'm looking at your life situation and circumstances. I don't want that God. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, now, so, uh, uh, because where there's lack, that ain't supposed to be no God. So I realized all the broke motherfuckers know everything, except how to get some money. So, so yeah. <laughs> yeah. So right then when I come to the internet, I realized this motherfucker could tell me about when we was king and queens 2,000 years ago. But he can't tell me how to get no goddamn money today. So fuck this motherfucker typing on internet. So I come to try to be nice. I ain't bullshit. Man, I come to the internet. Hey, my brother. Say, my brother. Soon as I jump out here, motherfucker say, look at it now. Say, you fucking with me. That's a childhood insecurity. Look at his nose. He look like he's snorting cocaine. Hey, man, I ain't never snort no more about cocaine. What's up? What are you talking about? They must have said all kinds of shit. Oh, uh, he a snitch. No, now hold up now. I'm a talented motherfucker. I've been telling since I was a little bit of a boy. No, nah, they got a whole lot of this. I ain't breaking a lot of Oh, and now I'm some bitch. Holly Bob. Oh, uh, nigga, I done involved. A nigga I done evolved and grew to a neighborhood watch kind of motherfucker. And I enjoy Zimmerman. You know, chase after me and get your license plate. Yeah, that kind of nigga. Yeah, yeah, cop constantly talking. Police on the young niggas that's coming through playing their music loud to see one little girl across the street. And I said, I called the police, called four young men to come through my neighborhood and the cat that we have the hugs to God, too, my dummy. And I moved back to the neighborhood so I can say it now. So listen. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I said, MMW, and you guys yeah, just didn't come back to California, but you got that MMW. Man. And it's the first time I can afford a phone call. So, he, this nigga, every day, I wake up in this goddamn garage. Now, I don't work, and he don't work. But it's bothering me, and he don't work. And he don't work. They tell me I'm this kind of nigga. But it's bothering me every day. I get you up know, this nigga in this goddamn garage from 10 o'clock in the morning. When I come home at 12, 1 o'clock, he's still in the garage. And then he got the nerve to have company on this motherfucker. So, I noticed they in that motherfucking North Star Cadillac. Now, I've had 13 North Star Cadillacs. And if anybody know what they got that North Star Cadillac, boy, you don't get that motherfucking brand new, that motor ain't worth shit. Boy, that motherfucking head go crack, that bitch gonna run hot. Say it's gonna be pretty in the motherfucker. Another gonna be pretty. Boy, you gonna ride 30 days clean in the motherfucker. But boy, you gonna be on side of the road. So goddamn it, I wanna put some 22 on this motherfucker. So I had 13 motherfuckers North Star. My son thought this car was the shit, but it stayed parked most of the time I went. So I get this motherfucking BMW, and I done created this, this situation with my wife. Well, I want to be married, but then I don't want to be married. So I'm saying, I don't even come up. So I'm shooting this shit to my wife. I ain't coming home every night. 
I ain't coming home every night. But this nigga who don't go to work like me is in the garage every day. So he gets to see when I come home, if I don't hit that motherfucker alone, he gets to see. I go in that motherfucking front room and cut the light on. He gets to see me cut that light on. I ain't thinking about none of it. When I cut the light off, he go. Cut the light off, he go in my car. Yeah, mama, he tell a lot. Nigga get my weed one night. Uh, he give him a clip to the room. Some fire ass weed that I couldn't get no more. So, uh, I come home one night and he got company. Yeah, yeah.